All right, we'll start with Demetrius. Hey, Antoine, first of all, congratulations. Um, j just wanted to know, how much contact did you have with the Jaguars prior to the draft, and what sort of feedback did you get from them, and how did you um, think of them as well? Uh, I appreciate it, and um, I talked to Jacksonville, I'll say a little bit, a good amount. Uh, we had a meeting at the Combine, and then uh, we had a Zoom. I had a Zoom with the O-line coach after a Combine, and uh, we talked here and there, and I feel like it was great. Um, they told me they liked me. They liked how I played. They felt like I was a smart player, uh, and then I just felt the same energy. From I knew I felt like the O-line coach he was a good teacher, a good coach, and just, I see just how – uh, Jacksonville was going in great, the right direction, so it was just it was, felt good. I'll go to D Rock. Hey Anton, how are you tonight? I'm good. How you doing? I'm doing pretty well. Um, what did they talk to you about in terms of what they expect from you role wise this year? Uh, I think Trent Balky mentioned that he also said you could play some guard if possible. So what have they kind of given you a hint on what your role might be this year? Oh, uh, yeah, we really haven't gotten to depth with that that much. We just I basically told him I can play whatever you put me at. So whatever position that uh, the coach put me at, I'll be able to exceed and excel at that position. You you played only, what, one game at right tackle at Oklahoma? Is that correct? Yeah. Okay, how did how did that go? And and do you feel comfortable there at left tackle? Or excuse me, at right tackle as well? Uh yeah, so the game went good. Um I actually played that game with no practice at right tackle. Uh because there was a late switch in the roster. I mean, so our right tackle got out late in the game week. So I had no practice and went into that game. And I feel like I played good. I, it's an easy natural switch for me. Uh, I say it's no let off right and left side. So I feel confident on both sides. What, what what was the opponent? Do you remember, or who was the opponent? That was the first game of the season, so it was okay. uh, Kent State. Okay. Thank yeah. you. No problem. All right, we'll go to James. Looks like we lost James. Can you hear me, Anton? Yes, I can. Okay. Uh, welcome to Jacksonville, first and foremost, and uh, congratulations. Uh, so I have a question. Uh, of um, has there been anybody that you leaned on in terms of uh, getting you know some knowledge on the NFL in advance? I know you had a teammate in uh, Marquise Hayes who uh, was drafted last year. I think he went to the Cardinals. Uh, so yeah, is it has there been anybody you leaned on for NFL experience or what have you? Yeah, it's, it's definitely them uh, older guys that came out of OU uh, played a big part in my improvement. So guys like Marquis Hayes, Tyrese Robinson, I talk to them almost every week about uh, the next level. And they're just trying to learn from guys like Lane Johnson, Orlando Brown. I work with them also. So just trying to learn from all the players that's uh, doing great the next level, trying to improve my game. So definitely. All right, thanks. Next, we'll go to Mia. Hi, Anton. Welcome to Jacksonville. Uh, first things first, walk us through draft night. Are you at home? How many people were with you? And emotions in the living room, wherever you guys were gathered? Uh, yeah, so I'm at home. Uh, we had a good amount of people, like 20, 30, 30 people, all family, uh, close friends. So uh, it was a great, it was a great night uh, just being around people I know that support me and love me. So I was just, it was real emotional um, being able to enjoy this moment with my family. Uh, so I say it was big for me. I know we asked you about your Oklahoma influences, but obviously you're from the D.C. area. A lot of good players have come out of that neck of the woods, chip on their shoulders. I know in these parts, uh, we're very familiar with Yannick Ngakwe and how much pride he took in coming from D.C. Some guys maybe that have been similar influences for you, just like those other guys at Oklahoma, and what does it mean to be representing the D.C. area? Uh, I say it's big, uh, especially seeing them guys like Stefan Diggs, Diggs brothers, like you said, Yannick, uh, guys that I grew up watching from the same city I came from. So me knowing I want to be a part of that, just to really to show other other uh, football players that you can, you can really just make it out uh, 
city of DC. So I said it was big for me. And one more for me. Um, just curious if you expected to go in this range, that 24 to 30 range, and did you think the Jaguars would be the team? Uh, I said I definitely expected to go in this range. Um, it was something I was prepared for. I really just didn't know who, uh, but I'm definitely excited to be Jacksonville. Awesome. Congrats. Welcome. Thank you. All right, we'll go to Hayes. Hey, Anton, congratulations. Uh, thank you. How are you doing? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. I, I, I was curious, in terms of your basketball background, how much do you think that helped you translate to being such a high-level football player? Uh, I'd say it definitely helped uh, a lot, um, especially at my position, offensive line, uh, with just, like, my footwork. i say that's, like, the biggest thing. I feel I have uh, good feet, fast feet, mobile, athletic, so. Just I feel like that basketball background helps a lot, uh, improving with that in the football field. And then what's it like coming here to, to Jacksonville What uh, in terms of working with Trevor Lawrence and a team that's winning and, and ascending? Uh, it's great. Um, I know I, I just see watching them games that everybody has that same mindset and want to win, uh, want to be want, trying to get to that Super Bowl. So I'm a part of I'm glad to be a part of that team and try to get to that goal with the guys. Awesome, man. Thank you. Congrats. Appreciate it. All right. We'll finish up with Gene Fournette. Hey, Anton. Congratulations. Appreciate it. How are you doing? Good. Uh, any preferences about a certain number that you might want to wear in, uh, what, in the NFL? And are you aware of the significance of the number here that you wore at Oklahoma? Uh, well, I was kind of just informed of that uh, <laughs> that number, so uh, it's definitely going to be a number change. Uh, I'm, that's really not important. Uh, I'm just ready to go out there and play ball. Uh, so I feel like for me, a number really, really isn't that big as long as I got that Jacksonville on my chest and playing football. Thank you. No problem. Appreciate it. All right. Thanks, Anton. You're all set. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. See you tomorrow. Uh, as a reminder, we'll have a recording.